Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers, oh, shit. Yeah, about that. Fucking dickwads. Fuck. Hey, welcome to The Recipe. I'm Joshua Scott. With me as always, Mona, motherfucking Lisa, the gang. Y'all dudes make me look huge. I'm as big as Lil Uzi. Oh, God. Protecting my energy, trying to keep the peace. Yeah. I don't want no enemies, I don't want no beef. Yeah. Come and shoot the shit with me, we can get too deep. Yeah. Cooking up a recipe, making sure you eat. Yeah. I don't wanna waste no time. I can tell you pussy boys behind. Yeah. You could never let me up my pride. Yeah. I already made my Did you guys see um, Joe Budden's Patreon move? No. No? I haven't been, I've been so lost, bro. What do you do? What? He's yeah. the fucking head of... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's the head of artistic equity for Patreon. Are we plugging Joe Budden's little podcast? Bro, we're yeah, the man. fucking Joe Benjis, bro. <laughs> man, we're the fucking Bronson Benjis, too, bro. That's my guy, man. My man crush. Right? Like, I feel like those two shows combined is what, like, I feel like influenced our show. Yeah. I will say that, bro. I will say that and give them their flowers. I'll give you that. Right? Hey, did you get a new tattoo on your face? I did. I did. Thanks for noticing. Is it real? No, it's a sticker. It looks really fucking good, dude. Thank you. Who did it? Goof. I knew it. That motherfucker is so smooth. Bro, he's that clean. shit looks shit fake. Like five minutes done. What? Yeah, five minutes quick. What do you pay for something like that? So what is that? Two hundred bucks. But it's my guy. Cool. Uh, it's the uh, pound sign. You have a crush on Albie Johnson, huh? Not too hard though. It's it's for Albie. What? <laughs> it's for Albie Johnson, Pound Johnson. Oh, is, is that what, that what you now? got? Now he's Pound Johnson. Yeah. Now you're giving him nicknames. Yeah. The fucking. Okay. You got I him, thought he been pound. You got him on your face. Yeah, I cut that off right. <laughs> What is that? What's the pa what's that mean? What's that symbolize? Oh, what made you want to do that? That's a European Oh, you're just been different. He about to take us to Pound Town on this episode. I don't think people understand the depth of like my musical experience. You know what I'm saying? And, and I just wanna. I just wanna showcase that finally, bro. In a really, in a really cool way to where it's like, I wanna break those boundaries where people think, oh you rap, you're a rapper. You sing, you're a singer, you're R and B. You're nah bro, you don't you could be the flyest at everything. To be honest, Drake opened that door. And so I'ma fucking just break that motherfucking wall down, bro. And, just, and have fun with it. And have fun with it. I never was a radio bop type person. I was more of a, like, go cruise late night, get in your fucking introvert, intra, introspective bag, you know what I'm saying? And, and kind of just think, bro, but. I like I'm radio like, bops. Is that? <laughs> I like radio bops. I do too. So, I do but, too but, but so did the majority of the people. And if you, right. want, if you want to get them to listen to the rest, you got to kind of throw, you got to do a little bit more. I do too. It just never was like my, it never was my choice of music to make. When you're somebody who makes things look easy, it's very important to recognize that about yourself. And I know it sounds like a cocky thing to try to recognize about yourself, but when you make shit look easy and you, and you're doing everything solo, like you don't ever do features. You don't ever let someone produce a beat for you. People don't realize how fucking sick you are when there's no one co to compare you to. And who should really show me that is fucking J. Cole, bro. Like, he's, he did himself the, he did himself like the disservice of doing so many songs out the gate just alone. I think the reason a lot of people sleep on him is because, bro, like, you ain't hearing him body everybody, like, and then you see him on some of these fucking, uh, on some of these, um, 
Dreamville tracks. And it's just like, bro, he just reminds you why he's in his position, bro. It's like, bro, that's fucking J. Cole, dog. Whether I'm the biggest fan of him or not a fan at all, you cannot deny that that dude is one of the coldest rappers just to ever pick up a fucking mic, bro. Like, there's people that are just like oh, that. Yeah. Like, you like I, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan of Michael Jordan when Michael Jordan played. But you can't help but say he's the guy. I always have this conversation because anytime, like, people talk about hip hop and shit, like with me, Nas is always brought up. Always. <laughs> always, man. And and. I, I don't say I'm not a, I don't say out the gate like, you know, I'm not a Nas fan, but if they keep on asking me about his music and like, I have to let you know, I'm not that big into Nas. He is the best to do what he does, as far as like the whole like, just that scholarly flow, dog. Like he just Well, there were certain things that Nas did too, you know? like in that time. He did drop his first album with no features. Killed it all the way through, you know no, what I mean? Yeah, he was true. big in the streets too. He also knew AZ and all them, and they was really on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, it's just his music for me, yeah, it, it isn't like, for me. It wasn't, you know what, what I mean? It just ain't for me. But you cannot deny that the fact that he is one of the greatest to ever do it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just can't deny him. Whether you like him or not, yeah. some people say, okay, like, people say music is subjective, right? <clears throat> but at the same time, bro, like, it's like, you There's never, a point you where you can never deny the talent. You can never deny you can the never talent. Deny the thing that gets me about old heads is that they saw the progression of the MC, right? You think that, you think MC didn't keep getting better? Nobody could out rap rappers from the '90s. I'm like, bro, like an average rapper nowadays would dust any rapper from the '90s, bro. Like you have to be at least as good as Kendrick to even be considered anymore, bro. Like all of Dreamville. Well, fuck, that's like a whole squad full of Kendricks. But those people who influence this shit are completely discrediting what they birthed. And they're, yeah. they're completely like, I was better than, I'm better than you guys. I was better than you guys. Like, um, I don't really know, bro. I can't say <laughs> that. People are looking up to that as the standard. Mm -hmm. It's constantly Set raising the bar. Quo, exactly. Constantly raising the bar. You know what I mean? It's like boxing. How old is boxing, bro? Boxing is... One of the illest sports ever, bro, because the age it is and how fucking evolved the sport is now, bro. Like, the average boxer now is so fucking evolved, bro. Like, there's so much that that sport has learned from, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so I remember when McGregor fought, when McGregor fought uh, uh, Mayweather, people were like, McGregor hits harder. It's like, no, bro. Mayweather is only yeah, throwing that point. punch. He only throws punches. He hits They're different harder. sports. No. Mayweather hits harder, bro. He punches harder. All he does is punch. Uh, he's thrown that, the, even though he's a defensive fighter, he's thrown those punches millions of times. McGregor gets to count on his takedowns, kicks, different types of strikes. Mayweather is only striking you, bro. That boy hits hard. He punches yeah, hard. He, yeah. I'm sure they all hit hard. <laughs> exactly. I don't, I don't really like the whole celebrity shit either, bro. No. I think Jake it's Paul, hard. you don't like Jake Paul, bro? What's not to like? <laughs> I heard about a Mayweather get... 50 Cent fight. You think 50 <laughs> got his hands like that, though? Not like that. Not like that, dude. And he can't chase that motherfucker around Fuck the ring, no, bro. Fuck no, dog. 50's That's... gonna get fucking you gotta, have, <laughs> you gotta have stamina to chase fucking <laughs> Mayweather, bro. I mean, if you take the gloves off, put them in the street, put them in the street. They ain't doing that. 50 to bang with him, but. Well, he'll like, he like pick him up type of shit. Yeah, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I probably, bro, we were just talking about this, bro. Like, 50 Cent's got a fucking bigger paws. He's even got big. Bigger paws. He has big ass paws. He's <laughs> <laughs> got, that boy got huge hands now. Because he's, he's saying, because he got Is that bigger. Is that necessary to pause that? Yeah, because he said, because he got bigger. I knew we weren't talking about his dick. I'll <laughs> Adam was not talking about 50's dick, okay guys? Yeah, I'm not talking about 50 dicks either. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That boy is fucking huge right now, dude. Like, I <laughs> see him in a pod. I see him in a suit. That fucker looked like he was gonna break the suit. I'm like, bro, what size suit is that shit? Mayweather's gonna have to pump hard, pause, just to get that weight up. He's gonna pump hard, pause? <laughs> I gotta say what Giz told me the other day that hyped me up so much, bro. And it, 
Shout out Giz. Bro. Shout out Giz, but, but but check this out. So you know when you work really hard and like it kind of goes unnoticed. It feels like and you get a little bit exhausted. Especially here, man. Yeah, but so so check this out. So Empty Pockets, shout out Empty Pockets. They're like the innovators of hip hop in Albuquerque. And they really progressed and they were like the shining stars and they really went the furthest, right? Back in the day. And so I'm, I'm helping them um, with this thing and we were talking to Giz and Giz was, was talking to, to my boy Cello about how Empty, Empty Pockets was like the pinnacle of Albuquerque. You know what I mean? Like, like that group that everybody strived to be like and shit. And, and, and kind of want to follow in their steps. Yeah. But right away he turned to me and he said, that's what you guys are right now. So crazy. And and he said, I if anything, Especially I Especially coming from a guy like his, man. Yeah, because like, he, he is. That like, motherfucker's talented, bro. But but yeah. but but he, he was talking about how he wanted to give our flowers right away. And the shit was just so dope, bro, the way he put it and it just I left it with a whole that's different some, energy. That's some, that's some real that's some real like That was Uncle Biz? No, Giz. Oh, Giz. Shut up. You Giz. know Giz? Yeah. I don't think so. Giz, he's a, he, nah, he, this boy, this boy is a, shout out Giz, he's a sick dude, shout out Salo too though, yeah, hell yeah, cause um, and Uncle Biz cause I said his name, so, bro, you guys, you guys gotta look at Cello, bro, Cello does these like live streams on Facebook, Instagram, oh and Twitch, oh my god, bro, and basically it's kinda like, like, he throws on different vibes, bro, whether it's old school, like hip hop, or like, I love seeing his shit, like Soul Food Sundays, Exactly. Kind of, oh, bro, it's bro, so I'll just dope. cook to that shit. Like, I like to cook and clean and just watch his streams, bro. We'll, 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 put, a, we'll put a link to his socials inside the, in, yeah, in the description. You guys let's do that. Go find him. What are you making? Oh, you want to know now? <laughs> oh, now you want to know? Now you want to know. I didn't ask you this. <laughs> I, I didn't ask him this whole time, but I'll... Do you know what he's making? I don't know how to say it. Toscana? Uh, Toscana? Toscana? Toscana. Toscana. Zupa Toscana. Zupa Toscana. Zupa Toscana. That's like my favorite soup at Olive Garden, bro. It's a uh, pretty Have you had good. every soup at Olive Garden? Because don't say that if you haven't had every I have. Been. And okay. this is the one that I make. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. listening to him, but you can't say that. I have. Had Go that. over there. Yo, I fucking made some Thai you curry look yesterday. Good, dude. Thank you you look like, like you look, dude. You, you are the you're the man Ellen DeGeneres wants to be. <laughs> like I'm cutting that. <laughs> <laughs> you can just put the camera down. Take a, take a break right now. He's the man. He's everything. Wishes she. He's everything be. in a man that Ellen DeGeneres wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that shit got it. That shit got it. Yeah. Look how hurt he is, bro. Turn him up. Give him a little bite, bro. You actually cut a good ass joke out one time that I said, hey, you cut it out. It was a good one. Was it? Yeah. So the joke was that we're talking about wiping from front to back. And, <laughs> and this guy and this guy goes, this guy goes, uh well gr well girls. Girls will get an infection <laughs> yeah. if you wipe from back to front. Yeah. Says, oh, know. that's why you guys wipe. From that's back. in the, that's in the episode. It is. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch our episodes. What the fuck are you yelling? Well, at you're giving me shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think about the fucking Super Bowl halftime performance? I didn't see it. For real? Yep. So it's fucking amazing, bro. I think I heard. Uh, I heard different. Yeah, I know. From everybody who performed. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, but. I heard he put in like seven mil of his own money bro, yeah, to fucking get that watch shit it. And it's I haven't seen it yet. Now I'm trying to put time aside. Yeah. So don't yell at me, please. No, 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 no. no, no. And but, don't ruin it for me either. No, but for other people, his return, that shit is fucking amazing, bro. What do you he, think? The return that he got on it. He knew what he was putting oh. in for. Oh, yeah, bro. His shit fucking 200%. 200% on Spotify. He's number one on number Spotify. One he jumped up yeah. 200%. Come on. He's number one, the number one streaming artist and when in the you world got, on Spotify. And when you right, got it, bro. fuck it. People are like, it was it was subpar for a Super Bowl performance. I'm like, bro, the Super Bowl performances are the pinnacle of all performances, basically. If you performed there, that means you're at the highest level of performing to even be there. The worst Super Bowl performance is like the best not Super Bowl performance. You know what upset me? People started trying to bring up that fucking Katy Perry performance again after they was talking shit about the 
Like, oh, look at how much. Remember, player. let's remember how great the Katy Perry performance was. I'm like, yo, fuck out of here. Are you familiar? Did she pull out a titty? No, she was on. <laughs> remember, she was on the fucking little the transformer or whatever. Uh -oh. it, was, it was a tiger. <laughs> you guys don't remember that no, shit? No, we should watch that video real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. And here's a clip. People were gonna say hate anyway, man. Like no matter what. I just That's hate what he's there for. That's the business he's in. So. That's the business we're in. Not everybody likes our show. Obviously. Yeah, but yeah. Adam don't watch the fucking episode. This guy. So is it fucked up to fuck your man, your boy's mom, if she's fine as fuck? To hit? No. Fuck no. Hit. <laughs> Who's she talking about? <laughs> I'm starting to think of who's mom. <laughs> he's he's, like, <laughs> he's all picturing me with his mom. He's like, Fuck. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's the first thing anybody. Thinks like, my mom. And then you go. I've never. Fuck no, it's not my mom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you don't think your mom's fine. If your mom's fine, you know your mom's fine, bro. I promise you. That shit's fucked up, kind of. If you have to think about it, like, is my mom fine? Nah, that's my mom. I don't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> my mom ain't fine. <laughs> Sorry, mom. More people that don't watch our show, though. So they'll never hear it. My mom's <laughs> always like, send me the link to your show. I'm like, all right. My mom wouldn't want to see this shit. Talk to my mom. My mom's like, no, I gotta go shit. do another episode tonight. She's like, a what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All all right, fuck you, mom. That's the weekend me and my seam dog. Is where I had, they had him coming into the camera like that, and I just swapped it over with the Joker. From the, the Dark Knight. If you don't have the money, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't take your mask off. <laughs> You're gonna be a meme. No in, matter what. In, no, if you made a noise, if you made a real, if you made some noise, anything is gonna be a meme. Right? Like, bro, bro, what's what's real name? I just nutted. Huh? That girl, the the big don't girl. Don't ever <laughs> look me in the fucking <laughs> eye. I have fun with the memes, man. It's just whenever people are. Dead ass. Oh, his Damn, performance huh? was. Ooh. It was all right. Why are you even posting that? Like, why are you even posting that? Then? I yeah, really. That's just kind of. It's so corny. Like, that's weak as fuck. Like, it's so all corny. that shit was trash. Then why are you talking about it, bro? Like, like, watch it. You sat through the whole thing for real. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I really trip out on people that like post shit that like that they just don't like. Dude, I that's almost the part did that, that just fucks to me show up. them how corny they look no, the other I... day, bro. I was gonna, dude. I was gonna post a a list of. Celebrities I don't fuck with, just so people, just just to show people how corny that shit looks. I won't pay to watch a Tom Cruise movie ever, and he doesn't know that. Do you post that? I don't yeah. post it. Do you, exactly. Do you post like? Why Tom the Cruise? fuck does Tom Cruise exist? <laughs> Dude, Tom Cruise is so overrated. <laughs> Bro, you're thinking about him. He's living in your mind, rent free, bitch. And then it bothers me because then, then I start putting, then I start thinking that. about haters, and then. It's like the same energy. It's like I'm hating on haters. See that one bitch? Uh, the, uh, what's her name? Uh, what is it? Humpback? Y'all seen it? That's who I'm talking about. <laughs> I, ju I just nutted. I just yeah. <laughs> she just put out a video talking about like how people are hate on her or whatever. That works. Just keep yeah. And yeah. she's like, you know what? Just I ain't famous, but thank you for fucking causing you know making noise with my track. I don't care, whatever. Just show love to yourself, love yourself who you are. People are hating on me for whatever. Fuck, fuck I'm a fucker, bro. I don't give a fuck. Get it. I'm gonna squeeze on that you. little neck, me. What's her name, dude? I don't know. It's humpback something. No, it's not. Bro, I shit what? you not. Humpback chunk. That's her name. That's her fucking name. Humpback chunk. She ran with it, look at it. Fuck with it, man. She's doing it still. She didn't let it discourage her. I'm yeah, aware. Said, yeah. Stay on brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm not even gonna say some shit. And then you got some other bitches coming out. I mean, women coming out talking about. <laughs> no, bitches exist, though. Bitches do exist. There's women, there's also bitches, though. Fuck you, And it's not, and it's, and it's, and it's fucking, what do you call it? Unisex. It's a unisex term. So. Nobody, nobody entered to win the $100 uh, DVD jewelry giveaway from our last episode. So for that, we will reward you guys with $200 <laughs> on this episode, even though you, you guys don't, don't deserve fucking it deserve it at all. At all, you guys gotta do better. DVD Customs, go check them out. They, their turnaround is dope. They have great product. 
Yeah, yeah dude's a fucking beast. We'll get you some. Now you got 200 bucks? And right, that's like you don't. I have, answer, I'm gonna answer no, no. Here's question. the thing too. Right. They uh, even said you don't have to live here in town. That's you, 14. Uh, you can, you can, you can win 200 dollars and, and purchase from anywhere you're at and get good product and have a ship. And the team, go get you a chain. Go get you some. Well, I don't think rings. you can do you a neck. Go get you a fucking you can, ring. Go get you but some gauges. Go get you. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can do teeth if you're not local. Yeah, you there you can. Send they send out the mold. They'll yeah. send you the mold. Fuck yeah. BBD yeah. customs. <laughs> make sure, make sure, check out the links in the description. We'll put it right here. My fault. I don't know. And then let us know if we're not giving the right details. I mean, if you're not getting it, which I don't understand why you wouldn't. It's pretty fucking simple. Hey, hey shout out the other kid. Uh, what's his name? SK. Shout out SK, bro. That dude's playing with a salmon. Jeez. You know who that is? Nope. Making music. Cool. I like him. I, I, like I, I, I gave him some flowers, man. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I, I jumped in his DMs. Oh, I yeah? Sent him a dick pic. No, I just, now nah, I fucking, I was like, bro. So he's one of us I, now, huh? <laughs> I seen him promoting the shit out of his, his music the last three weeks. Is I put, it SK or yeah, SK? Yeah, SK. No. And so I put, out, I put out a thing the other day saying, how can I support other artists, right? And he sent me a message saying, yo, check out this track. And I was super busy because a lot of people hit me up with some shit. And plus I had things to do. So I didn't hear it for a good 24 hours. I played it like at night driving home. And I was like, yo. I was so surprised. Cause you know, you, you think you're gonna yeah. play some shit and you're gonna be like, uh. Because I, I told him what I tell anybody that asks me for <coughs> feedback, I'm gonna be honest as fuck. That's what we do. And if you don't want that, I, they're gonna say they well, want let's not, that. I mean, let's not forget the time there was a, you know what I mean? I, I'm exactly the same. There was a time I got that message too. Like, yo, your shit is fire. You took time out of your day. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what I mean? Look where I'm at now. I'll show some attention to people who I don't I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. If you, if, if you DM me some music, bro, I might listen to it. And honestly, bro, like if I fuck with it, I will let you know, bro. Like. If I don't fuck with it, I probably ain't gonna say anything unless you ask me to react to it. Or like you say, what what did you think of it? Some shit like that. And then at that point you're gonna you're gonna hear my honest opinion. I like hearing new shit, bro, I really do, because I think there's some untapped talent. And I, the way I hear people's voices, I'm like, you could do like you could do shit that I don't think you even know you could do. Like that's why I had to tell that dude SK, I said, I said, I don't think you know how fly you are. And what I mean is, I don't think he knows what he's... The, the, I don't yeah. think he knows the potential of what he's starting yeah. here with, with this new sound he's playing with, with his voice and his, his cadence and his style. It's, he never what he never sounded like this. It's a new thing for him. And whenever I told him, I said, the this, this sound you're playing with is out of this world, bro. And he said, I'm having so much fun with it. Oh. Right? I'm gonna make a blueberry avocado feta salad. I don't even know. With olives? No, I forgot the olives. Olive. <laughs> what up, Tuck? What's up? How's school? Annoying as fuck. Nah, this shit's getting pretty hard. Um, been teaching us composition and logic. So everything has been like straight sheet music lately and perfect fourths and fifths and octaves and all of this crazy ass shit that I'll probably never use again but you probably it. will but you don't even realize it like it's cause even like the semitones and all that shit is like yeah well like, I mean and the only part the only part that's like really resonated with me lately is like the chord progression they're teaching us uh, how to always go back to like the I chord which is like the first chord right so that shit, that shit's pretty dope. But I'm not gonna lie, shit's been kinda hard, so I've actually had to pay attention. There's this show called, what's it called? Dissected on Spotify. He'll do a 45 minute segment on each song from the album and break down like. <laughs> it looked horrible. And obviously I think he talks to them and asks them what that meant, what, what, the, what they meant to portray with 
why did you end it on this on this in this chord instead of this chord? Why did you you know and like it's just one of the illest albums, bro, is Blonde, and that's on there. It made it on there, and he dissects the Blonde album. And I I don't know I don't know if, I don't know that I know of a better album than Blonde after hearing that dude's breakdown of what Fucking everything meant. Channel. No, bro, Blonde is it, it, it's just. The intricacies uh, in that album, like, for example, bro, there's a song called Night, and, and there's a part, like, at the beginning of the song, it's, like, very happy, and it sounds like the daytime, and then it, like, it does, like, this Beatles-type breakdown to lead into, like, the next song, but it's still the same song, and it turns into a night vibe. Like halfway through the song, and right when it hits nighttime on that song, that's that's exactly halfway through the album. Like literally, as far as the time goes, it's directly half. You know they're bringing the Chappelle show back. He got his yeah, name yeah, back, yeah. dude. So yeah. he's bringing yeah. So he finally oh, got his name shout back. Shout out Dave Chappelle. Shout out. Fuck. What's that gonna be on? We're shouting out Dave Chappelle. That's very high of us. We think very high of ourselves. <laughs> the show. Y'all sleeping on this. You guys suck. Don't sleep on this. We're not gonna stop though. Oh, I never That's die. Point. Because people, you know, a lot of people don't have taste. <laughs> <laughs> not our bad, bro. Bigger bowl, you're making yourself a salad. Oh. Push up. Do you have a. Ooh. Do you have a. This guy, like. No, like, this motherfucker tried to sneak away. He brought snacks to the party, dog. No this motherfucker. He straight up. So shut up, then. Continue with the show. Oh, you was holding that one, wasn't you? He was. He you was holding on to that one. I don't fuck with Mexican food and blueberries. That's what I know so far. That's you crazy. don't fuck with Mexican food. There's a lot I made him Mexican food. Barely. What you mean barely? Laugh. What's what you different? Mean? I made you the tacos. That's Laugh. different though. That's, that's slimy. different. I don't like like real like Mexican. He doesn't like like beans well, and rice and, and like chili. Like, 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 well, Mexicans like make rice. it with lamb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just, real Mexican food. He don't want to admit it. He don't like Mexicans. Is what it is. <laughs> And so, oh, wow. he married one. An Italian prejudice against a Mexican. You believe that shit? I married one. <laughs> it don't matter. She that doesn't might matter. Don't do that shit. Everybody calm down. Let me do my thing. Those are good avocados, though. Yeah, these are those perfect, those right? Are good bro, I know how to pick them, bro. I'm telling you. I'm not this good at a lot good. of things, but avocados. Boy. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck this show. <laughs> this, is, this is a fucking whack ass show, guys. Wow. Jesus. Damn, was that too much? Yeah. What is it? Was that a whack ass audience? <laughs> 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 I fucked with that one. <laughs> Yo. I fucking like you guys, man. Or no, the ones that watch, I do. Dude, that's our audience. And that's our audience. <laughs> what are you talking about? Chuck the other day posted this shit, he's like, I'm a fucking star. Don't fucking talk to me unless you got da da da. I was like, bro, we ain't got those numbers. <laughs> bro, I'm stuck in like my daddy. I'm a daddy. Bro, I ain't got no daddy. Damn, you call me a bitch, bro? Mm. That's crazy. He, he said like a 12 year old. Bitch, you call me a bitch? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> you went straight for it, huh? I get real triggered when people call me bitch. I don't like that shit. You know? Pussy. No, no that's, that's rude. Up, that's me. Stop it. I hate that. Or oh, even the dudes. No. There's dudes out there that just say it. Bitch. Or they go, no, you, bitch. Or they, like, it's funny. Stupid. He calls himself my dad, and then he's all, what? You call me a bitch? I'm like, what? Fuck you. Why'd Some you? dude made me pull over, dog. Cut me off the road, made me pull over, and fucking... He made you pull over? Yeah, he gets out of his car. And, and you obliged. You were like, okay. I flipped him off. He pulls over, blocks me in. He's a midget. <clears throat> and Did this you boy's... just fucking ruin his story? He's like an old man. Like, his forearms are, like, real tiny. But, bro, like, he was like... Like, he's all, he's all, He's all, you got a fucking problem? I I get it. Dude, I, I, I like, <laughs> peeked my head out the door. I was like, what? He said, "You got a, you got a problem." I get out of the car, bro. Like, like, we can do this. I'm all, what, bro? He's like, "You got a problem?" I was like, "No, bro." Like, you, you made me 
You made me pull over. Dude, as soon as I get out of the car, this fool starts shaking. He's standing like this. He's like, starts shaking. His voice starts shaking and shit. And I'm just like, dude, your, your pride is forcing your body to do something you don't want to do. He still goes, bring that middle finger over here. All shaking still. And so I go, bro, I literally walk up to him, put my finger in his face. He's like, come over here then. And so I go over there like this. I go over there like this. My hands behind my back, bro. This fool's not gonna sleep me, bro. <laughs> and he this is fucked up. You should have just said he just steps on the go home, no, bro. Yo, go back to Ethel. That's go tell he... Ethel about that you punked me. He goes to him. So he steps on the sidewalk. He goes, and come over here. <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious? He kept doing this, dude. And I said, and I and I just looked at him. I was all, I'm not doing this, bro. Get in my car. He's all, you you flipped me off, so you really ain't about shit. You yeah, ain't, I'm like, ain't about ah, shit, bro. Get out of here, bro. Nice. I really ain't. I really wasn't about it. Really wasn't. He was playing horse. I bet you won't come over here. <laughs> when I go to Olive Garden, they that have the good, right? they, they have the never ending salad and soup. I'll get like four bowls of that shit. Of the Zupa Toscana? At Olive Garden? Oh my god. Oh, of the Zupa Oh yeah. Of yeah. oh, oh, the place. salad and the... I think this is gonna be a good match even without the olives and the... Uh, yeah, it, it is. You, uh, even without them. But it would've slapped with oh, them, huh? bro. I've really been taking care of me. Yeah, good. But, but like... For those that don't know what a Reiki is, that shit blew my mind, bro. Yeah, what the fuck is a Reiki? I had this session with this girl, bro. Oh my god, what did you do? Some voodoo shit? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's it's some like voodoo it, shit over no, here, man. No, no, so basically she talks to you, you about know, like- I don't believe in either god, right? No, check this out, bro. Like there's only two? I'll, I'll just tell you about the session. Right? I'll just tell you about the session so you can kind of understand what happened. She, she called me, she had me put it on a speakerphone. She had me like lay in a comfortable place. I laid on the bed. And she told me to put the phone either on my chest or next to me to where she could hear me and I could hear her well. Bro, she said shit about me without me telling her shit that fucking blew my mind, bro. Over the phone? Yeah, blew my mind, dog. Like to a T, talked about who I was and like problems that without I had. Without you saying anything? Without me saying shit. Uh, get a little kick. Uh, do you mind if we get a little more in depth? By all means. Like, well, like, like, what okay. was it? What was it that made you say, "Oh, that's not something that she could just pull out of her ass"? Okay, she says you work a lot. She says you, you, no, no. She says you work so much that that you're having a hard time focusing because you don't you don't take breaks, and and you don't take care of yourself, and so you're having this battle with yourself. She said, you're on the right track to get to this goal that you want to get to, but there's something stopping you and it's negative energy and it's you. She says, honestly, if you were just more unproductive, that would be more productive. Bro, let I me just, like, let yo, me, hey, I hey, said, wait, wait, crazy, wait let honest, me bro. interrupt Who's you. A, let me interrupt you, yeah, bro. I'm sorry, because I promise you. That is something crazy to say. Right. I promise you about a week before that, me and you had that same conversation about how no you've been bro, who you hasn't been told Joe years, that shit. I know that who hasn't told Joe I, that I know, shit. I know that knows I him. know that. No, I know bro, that. you need to so, just specifically what what are you but talking what, about? But then? what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is when when you were talking about when we were talking about how how um you you have the expectation of people to be as sacrificial as you uh -huh. because you genuinely are that sacrificial. We don't all have that, bro. Like, we don't all feel that way. And, like, that's why I'm like, I told him, too. I was like, bro, I don't tell you all the issues that are going on in my life because I know you're going to try to do something about it. And I need you to not. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, yeah. you remember that talk? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was maybe not even a week before that. Everybody tells me take a break for yourself. And I've been trying to meditate, and that helps. And, like, but it's only, like, it don't feel like rest. My biggest problem is... I start thinking about everything I gotta do, everything I haven't done, everything that is happening right now, noises. Cause now it's so quiet. Well, yeah. see, like, I really feel like when, when my twins were born, one of my daughters had a problem with sensitivity. And so through that, that investigation of what she's gone through, I realized I have all those problems that nobody ever addressed. When she was feeling overwhelmed and I could, I could see that, if I turn off the TV or whatever background noise was happening, it calmed it without me saying shit. 
And I noticed that was like helping me. I think that some doctors or like whoever diagnoses ADD, it's all these little things that like trigger us in a certain way that we just have to understand our triggers. She said, you have resentment. Like there's so much resentment, like self resentment inside of your throat. And there's a chakra that's off because of that. I don't know what the throat well, you, have, you have you just what is, bro, you guys are talking about some shit that like I don't know what that is, so that's a different level that I don't even understand. Well, but there's chakras that's in your body. There's chakras, bro, like that. Like that cause tension? Yeah, and they oh, like no, it's it positivity. Me. It's supposed to be a flow, bro. It's one symptom. Well, if bro, you're like, aggravated and you're upset about something, my neck's gonna get tense. No, there's, there's a flow within your body. constantly on. No, like take it like this, bro. Like like Every chakra in your body controls like a different part of like your energy. Like like your 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 pelvic chakra, bro. That's your sexuality, bro. Like if that shit's out of line, out of whack, testosterone. Bro, you could be you could be. It could be a number of things. It's dude. It's it's your it's it's more to do with your spirit, bro. Like it's not organs and all that shit. It's really like the energy. And for somebody that don't like believe in stuff like that, it'd be harder for him to understand. I think. Uh, because there's always a scientific reason behind it. So, not really. You know what bro. I mean? There's always a, a, a biological reason. Not always. I've had, I had my cars red once and I didn't believe in the shit and I just let it happen. It wasn't even a The bitch cars. told me like this. Well, the bitch told me like this. And she was like, and I, I don't mean that. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I've been around the gangsters lately. Now you guys are, are, are seeing me in my natural. I'm trying habitat. to figure out your shot. I'm forgetting the camera. <laughs> So these, these women okay, go ahead. have uh, read my, my cards and she told me that you were going to have a son in the next year. This is back in the day, so you can get my son's eight years old now, about to be nine in June. You know what I mean? Is it true? Bro, I had a son that year. There you go. And I so that was some weird shit. Like, though, that I, was some bro, weird shit. Can I, all right, let me tell you this. All right, because we're saying a lot of shit that circulates the word believe, right? But I've also seen no, things that have scared. Let it finish. Go ahead. He was in the middle of the whole sentence. Sorry, I get. <laughs> Bro, so the word believe, it's it's a, it's the wrong word. Like you, bro, you guys, if you keep watching this show, you'll notice. I I I have to stop you if you're saying some shit that's just wrong wording. This is a crazy thing about the word believe. All it means is blindly follow, bro. Like. You're believing in something. What we mean to say, bro, like, I don't know. I don't know how, and I haven't figured out what we mean to say, but it's wrong to believe because I would even say, like, I feel God instead of I believe in God because do you just believe in it? Or what do you do, feel about the or, word faith? It's the same thing, bro. It's literally it, it's the so, same So word. believe really so, means to blindly follow? Yeah, no, yeah. faith. Faith means well, to yeah, blindly bro, follow. Well, yeah, bro. You that's tell me same, what you tell me thing. what it means. I would have to look up a definition. No, no. What does it mean when you say it, right? Have yeah, you ever well, said it? Okay, word? okay. Well, what do I, you mean when you say it? To blindly follow. Right. To blindly follow. Well, but like, here's based off feeling. Based here's on the feeling. This is, and, and, but I would say, but I would say, okay, but based on a feeling. Exactly. That's what we mean to say. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then whenever we say, when yo, when I say. I believe in myself. Ooh, we're getting deep. You know what we mean to say? We're right. getting deep. I'm becoming myself. Because to believe in yourself, you actually believe or you're seeing something into fruition, your goals into fruition. So when you say, I believe in myself, you mean to say, I'm becoming myself. I realized this shit last night, bro. I swear to God, bro. It's crazy. No, no, you got me. You crazy shit. Don't, like, don't, no, no, the whole word believe is like. And I'm not an atheist. <laughs> I, I hope that. Well, I don't want to make that like I don't. I, I know I don't believe. I kind of think you're. I don't believe what. What I don't believe is just one or two or three or a good or a bad. It's also a, okay to say I don't, I don't know. know, and it's also good to I don't know. like you know what I'm saying. And it's also it's also okay know. to say I don't. I don't believe in that, but I don't disregard that either because I don't know. And obviously I don't. Do you want me to tell you, know you what? We know, we know obviously us, I don't. Does? You know what I mean? And I'm open to it. Prove me. Like, show me something. I'll, I'll show tell me you. something of the of, of that I'm not gonna die. No, no, no. I'll, t I'll tell you where. I guess like, that's what it comes I down. I'll to. tell you where I honestly think the most logical way to think about all of this shit is, bro, is that none of us will ever know 
until death or maybe even beyond that or even never find out and the the only thing that anybody has a truth of is now and that's not even a truth the only thing is the hold on, hold on. The, right? the, the, the only thing is we could sit here and argue about speculation mm -hmm. and hope and faith and thoughts and 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 assumptions this last 20 minutes was hey, speculation no 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 all of it is that you know what I mean? all of it is that and like yeah i i've come to terms with not arguing it because you don't know you don't know shit that's you don't know shit, shit. Yeah. you don't know shit you don't know shit you don't know shit i don't tell you like this and that's <laughs> your point makes sense <laughs> let me tell you this your point makes exactly. sense your point makes sense exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. mine in a way <laughs> that scares me that there's yeah, nothing yeah. after this why yeah right bro like i do all this shit no. i go through this shit are you I asking this him pain. why because i go through all these problems and all that for there to be nothing after this watching you specifically in that shit it's your reaction to these things and how you hold on to them whether it's gonna be fuck these problems or yeah i had to deal with those but i also got these if you, could, if, you, if, you could, if you could hold on to the blessings more than the problems, because you probably have more blessings, like waking up every day, watching right. their breath, and guess they got, they got to breathe today, and you, you, may, you might not get to hug them, but that's the selfishness in that all. They got to breathe today. You know I want I mean? to respond to something Ted said, because he said, he, yeah. said death, he said, death don't scare me. Let me tell you something though, bro. Let me tell you something though, because I'm suicidal almost every day. I'm just gonna say that. I don't like saying that. It's my truth, bro. Okay. I'm not afraid of dying. Me, dying. Personally, because sometimes I feel like there just are people who, who I guess can only, can, fo can focus a lot more on the crazy, the fucked up shit that's happening to them. Like me, bro, I dwell a lot. I think a lot. I overthink a lot. I feel like an alien. I feel lonely, and I, those those feelings get to me. Sometimes I feel like that shit is suffering, and sometimes I would rather just like die. But I have to stay here for my daughter, bro. And the thought of dying and her not having that scares me. I get that. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess just like my my take on death is a little bit different. Like I just, I don't know, bro. Uh, None of us know, and that's the point. I'm like immune to that shit, bro. Like that shit don't bother me at all. Like if it's my time to go, okay, let's get it over with. Like, I don't know why I'm like that. I've always been like that. Bro. So many of my people have died, bro. You, I know your brother died, right? My brother, <laughs> my brother died too, bro. Like that's what made me like this. That's what made me like that too. My my little brother, bro. That was that was. My, my best friend and I'm not like like I was sad about it for years you know what I'm saying like I just it made me do crazy shit that's when I was started robbing people and doing just crazy shit just just cause I don't know bro like it's just like I, I, I part, probably about four years of my life just turned into a blur bro and I was just just projecting that that energy to the world, that anger and shit, and I got addicted to heroin and just got in, in trouble with a lot of people and 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 then I had my daughter, bro, and it just gave me a different view on life. I'm suicidal every day, bro, and I will never do it, bro. I will never do it because I have something so, so much more to live for. It's like when they show those cliffs where the most of the cliffs underwater, my depression is just the tip of that shit, bro. The, everything underwater, bro, that's my love for my daughter, bro. That's just, honestly, she's she's everything that keeps me alive, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tud and Josh definitely don't know this, but like, I used to be suicidal. And so I used to, when I, when I lived in Phoenix and I was going through it, I used to drive to this cliff and I used to like, I used to try to push myself to drive over, but I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I would always stop myself. And I, I go through the mental sadness or like depression or like, like lack of validation or whatever the fuck it is now. And it's the same feeling, but I would never do it because of them. Because of them, right? Exactly. But 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 then again, but then like reflecting on it now is that like, I didn't do it then either. Bro, this is the worst conversation I've ever had in my life, bro. <laughs> Hearing you guys talk like this. 
Well, you know, First I mean, it, it, it is what it is. We've all been there, and I don't want to, you know. Yeah, but it is what it is. Is that like? It is what it is. When I say I'm depressed every day, bro, I'm a highly emotional person, bro. Like, so I'm not. I don't mean to put emphasis on me being depressed every day because I'm also just as happy every day, and I'm also just as I'm also just as um, motivated every day. I'm also just as. I just have and a lot of people don't get that and they're enhanced and a lot of people don't understand that functionally Yeah, functionally uh, depressed and one thing is it, 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 so this because I, I know me So I, I heard something a, a couple years ago that like hit me crazy and happiness is an escape Yeah, it is it is it can be it, it's not always happiness but it can, can be an escape, an escape. From what's real. Mm -hmm. I've established it trying to figure out with the Reiki, trying to figure out what my problem is with my dreams. And it is this validation, it is this like lack of finishing projects that are that, that are that not it's not this it's a piece of piece of it is acceptance, but to me it's an overall Progress. Progress, yeah. Is getting all these pieces and finishing the puzzle. And, and I that's what I feel like is my thing that that I'm so hard on myself about too is that, you know, but but I but that's also what the driving force in me that creates a sense of urgency because if I wasn't so hard on myself, bro, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be as hardworking as I am. If I wasn't as hardworking as I am, I wouldn't be as motivated as I am. I inspire myself, bro, and a lot of people don't have that. I'm lucky, bro. I'm blessed. You hear me talk about being depressed, but you also talk, hear me talk about me being the, the one who deserves this shit the most. Well, let's so you have know that I love me. Too. You know I love me. You're a bro. bad motherfucker. Let's have that conversation as well. You're a bad motherfucker. Motherfuckers love you. You got a fan base. For sure. How many people can say that? You got a fan base. I kind of get a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We can be proud of that shit. We can be happy in all of our problems. That everything that comes together and as hard as we work, there's people that get it. There's people that are depressed. There's people that are there's people that are going through this. Is our, this is our base a, a depressed base? No, no I'm just saying no, no, we're what, I'm, but what I'm saying is we have to talk about these things because they are real. We're not what we're not gonna do, bro, is we're not gonna just we're not gonna confront the issues that, that really occur, bro. Every, I don't care who your demographic or your audience is, you have depressed fans. Everybody has depressed fans. Dude, I, and if you don't understand what the fuck I'm saying, this part of this show isn't for you, bro. I'll say maybe this episode ain't for you, but there is, there is, there's something that this speaks, there's an audience that this speaks so loudly to what we're saying right now. Don't give up, persevere, bro. Like, use that same thing that's, that's, that's making you depressed to light as, as fuel for your fire. We're trying to be as, as motivated and, and forward moving as possible, but depression exists within it. And we gotta, and so we we gotta, gotta face acknowledge that. that. We have, we to, have acknowledge to acknowledge that it. piece of it. Exactly. Because Not everybody's okay. Yeah, most of us ain't okay. We're all going through our own things. And one thing that I've been looking up a lot more is family court type shit. You know what I mean? You know, 20,000 men a year commit suicide because of visitation restrictions. That's fucked up, dude. From their children. We're all going through our different things. Everybody, always, bro. You know what I mean? Always. That it's, was a it's crazy all... conversation. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's finish this little drink and uh. We haven't seen food. each other in a while yeah. either, so that's it. But yeah, let's see yeah, whatever, whatever you say, bro. <laughs> so this is Zupa Tuscana. <laughs> right? Yeah, you, yeah, actually, you said it right. Say it again. Zupa Tuscana. Zupa Tuscana. You're taking your teeth out? Dashers. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Use dashers. You oh. can. <laughs> <laughs> this is just extra bacon. Mm-hmm. Throw that on the top of your soup. Oh, you saucy. Yeah. Take some for me. So no, I put some in there already. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. So, mm. Got to, bro. Oh my God. We asked, what, what's on the menu? Or Joe asked, or somebody asked. asked. No, you asked. Yeah, so Adam asked in our in our little group chat, what's on the menu? I said, Zupa Tuscana. He says, 
Cut it the fuck out. <laughs> I, was so, I was so excited to see I it. just heard about the Zuba Toscana last week. Last week. My mom deprived me. I ain't Vienna what sausages. What do you think? Fucking amazing. Can you give it another one for the camo? Mm, the camo one. leaves the fucking mm. zucchinis alone? Can you leave the fucking <laughs> food alone for a minute? They left this one for me. This is the best one. If you know. You like the middle? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the ends. I like the little crisp uh -huh. on the ends. Look at this. So, try to enter this time, guys, for the fucking contest. It's two hundred dollars, like for free. Yeah. When you have to lose, bro. <laughs> for nothing but watching. The I'm not gonna convince you to either. Like, if you don't do it, we're just gonna give DVD their fucking money back, bro. Like, yeah, and they got free promo. Yeah, and they got free promo. This is so good. <laughs> like the texture of the bacon. Oh. I made it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That kale too slapped. So good. Do us a solid though. We're done at the bottom. Subscribe. Subscribe. We're gonna do gold digger videos next. Fucking assholes. Do all that good shit. Help us out. Fuck. Yeah, Cook it up, bro. Cook it up. Y'all are people, bro. We love you guys. Bro. If you do it, if you don't do it, then fuck you, bro. You said something the other day. You said, uh, people close to you just can't understand that they came from the same place you did. And you're... People don't share your shit. You know where I'm going. Yeah. 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 People, you know where I'm going people, with this. People don't share your shit. It's upsetting. Because they're upset that they came from the same place as you, but they're mm -hmm. in the same place. In the, in the worst they can't fathom getting somewhere, you know? They put themselves, they put that limit on themselves. Getting the fuck out of here. Think bigger. On that Don't note, be mad because people like me. Big Mona Lisa gang. Subscribe. Big gang, motherfucker. Yo, and we keeping our, our foot on your necks, bitch. If I'm crazy, I'm pushing you away for someone to replace you, put you in your place. I don't love you no more. Fuck the bullshit and the pain. You said that you find someone to do the shit I ain't. You need to find someone that will do this shit every day. Cause I won't. I burn too many bridges. Yeah, that's cause I'm a pyro. See